Okay, hi. Harry Jackson on the air again here. Wow. What do you think? Well, I've been to Montreal and I went back. Trip was wonderful. It took time getting and time about ten days. Wow. My resigning healing, it's always seen so burning bit down below. And it's still healing a bit, but as the time goes on, it might heal better. This morning, like I woke up, and I thought my glitter is working for the first time. That would be interesting, because now having resigned on one thing, getting it, and it's trying to get used to it, but takes me time. I may not get used to it for another couple of months, at least a year. I get used to it. It does. I'm just learning things, too, about having designer. What it was he does to you. Well, I've actually saying the way I behaved quite a lot over the last few weeks, in a way. It that makes you cuss, for one. It, you know, I want to put... Well, one thing a designer does do, i tell you this right now. It stops you dead in a trap and acting like a man. It does. Another thing a designer does not let you do is... If, you are, if I want to dress a man's jeans and t-shirt, it stops you from doing it. You can't do it. I mean, I don't know how a biological woman can do that. I can't do it, but unless they fight the designer to do so. But I can't, I not let my designer, my designer basically controlling my life now. Because a new gender down below, a female pilot, female gender. I'm happy about it in one way. And... It's like the uh, people in the city are just so stupid, in a way. They really, they look, there's an anti-trans movement in this city. It's like you haven't seen, I have not seen my life for it. It was worse than me being told I couldn't use the lady group back home back a year back. Uh, and they said, this anti-trans movement, it's to make it, they, you, you hide the, Sir, I can't find any trans. I try and find good services here in Hamilton. Only that I could find is Willow Place. That fine, offer wonderful services are LGBTQ. I have the services out there too, but they are not seem to be hidden out of sight. Can't find them. If I do find them, I'm finding out through other agencies, like in um, other cities, sometimes, but the service here, and I. And I and contacting them and finally getting in, but it's made, they're hiding because the two anarchy groups here in Hampton, the Tower, and the, you know, religious search group called, you know, the Yellow Jacket, the, the Yellow Vest Movement, both groups are anti-trans, both groups are horrible people, how at any trends, they, um, they have two good in there, and they, all they do is they get hip surgeon and turn to Jesus, they yell out our trans mark, when our trans mark feel like sit. You know, I, I mean, I couldn't enjoy this year's uh, trans pride event at Gates Park because of that. The afterward, the backlash for that, I and mean, then how can I, do, you know, honestly, I don't feel welcome at transports here in the city. You know, honestly, if things don't change soon, and I don't want to move out of the city over this either. I mean, I've got, I've got feeling as soon as the cold comes, the winter comes, the cold winter comes, this is all quiet down and watch. But right now, as a result, it's been hard on me because of shit like that. That shit, and you gotta stop. Oh boy, and it's bad. I mean, if I want to get, sometimes I have to, me, a couple times in Hamilton, I need to do after that. Two days, but almost last weekend, I need services. I couldn't find him here in Hamlet. I've been finding Niagara Falls, New York. So I took a gold bus to Hamilton all the way down to Niagara Falls and the passport and toll, crossed the border to Niagara Falls, New York, went there, went and saw this, went and visited the services there, and I, and I did find information, and then I found information for them about the service offered to Hamilton, out of St. 
uh, uh, care center on Creek, the only care center, well, and they said, well, you have to get a referral for your doctor, or you have to do this, and you have to go this, you have to prove your friend to use the service, and this, and oh my God. I said, look, I found out, I went from, and somebody in Niagara Falls, New York, told me about the surgery. Now, yeah, you know, and I've been trying to ask, you know, that too, and nobody did, all the last week, didn't get a very good answer there. Got to a point where I got fed up enough, so I'm going to do something about it. So then I went over to Joseph Grant Hospital Burton, and I sat down, I made him, and finally sat down, and I was able to see a counselor there, and I was able to talk to a counselor, and, this, and, this, and I got things squared away. You know, that was great, I was a whole counselor, but had to go to Burton to get it done? That's a question. When I went into Trent County over a urgent care, you can't seem to see because it's like you got to prove your Trent to see it. That's not right. You know what I'm talking about? I'm trying to prove my Trent to see. I had to go to my city to get a county. Now, you know, too bad that the too bad that the well no more. At least I had a place to go when well went. And no well left, and no place to go. I mean, I feel like I don't feel like going to have an aid network just to get help, you know. But that's people with HIV. I don't have HIV. So how could I um, go there? I don't feel like comfortable going there if I need counseling. I've been seeking it. I've been seeking it out of the city. That's the problem. Well, I mean, but. Another t and I a couple of times on Niagara Falls, New York to see counseling because they just don't have it here and I don't have it, but you can't get, get access to it. You have to go through this and you got that, you got to go through, you have to go through West Bay Camp to get access to accounting. That's so stupid, you know, you know, when it's right there to use. They make, there's so many hurdles to get access. You know, we give up. Yeah, and I can go to Burton get easier access to Burton. I can go Oakville and get better access. I can go Nightcrawler and get better access. I can go to um, Toronto and get better access. You know, honestly, what gives in Hamilton? Hamilton, Andy, Hamilton is very anti trans. It's like they're proving it with the two groups. That's so time anti trans. When you got two groups in feeling it, that makes it even harder for me as a trans woman to survive in this city. You know, honestly, half of the good trans people in the city left and gone out of the city because of them. And I, I, I can't do this right now because if I leave and go to the city, what am I going to do? There's good service in Montreal, but leave move to Montreal, what am I going Nothing. What am I going to do? I don't know where to go. You know, I don't know what I'm going to do. And I'll move back to London. What am I going to do? I'll be bored. Nothing to do. What am I going to do in London? Nothing. See? You know? Even went to Toronto, high rents. There's no way I will get a nice part of this in Toronto. No way. I'll be forced to live in a room at a probably $9,000 a month for a freaking room. I can't afford that, you know? I mean, really, honestly, it's like. You get the services, but you don't get they don't get accommodation. In London you get the service, but you get city con you don't get accommodation too. So what gives here? You I can't ever think about it. You know, it's one thing. It services in Hamilton. They don't really get good accommodation in Hamilton. I know other housing authorities, another city, horrible accommodation. London housing really bad for accommodation too. So if you run down dump. I don't want to run down dump spaces. Anyway, so I don't know here whether I, I thought about it. The answer is no, I can't move, I can't afford to. And even if I did, it was just trying to build trying to build up my reputation, getting things count going here hard. Very, very hard, yeah. The I got People who helped me along the way, yes, but when I need them after I've done a survey, they're not there to help me, you know. I mean, where are they? They went into Goodwood. As soon as the tower comes along, the services disappeared. 
soon as those folks got to gay punk, the services disappeared. I mean, just finding services that they're getting hard in this city. Very difficult, I found. I mean, like, I can't even find services sometimes. Sometimes I go to other cities to get services because it's not available. If they are available, you got to go through a site board or through a site hospital to get it. And I don't feel comfortable going to site hospital just to get service. Yeah, I don't feel comfortable for it. I feel uncomfortable. You know what? Honestly, just get it down for Go for a site hospital. It's very uncomfortable. It's not easy. And you shouldn't have to do that, you know. Hamilton backwards. Hamilton is all way behind other cities in services wise. Other cities way ahead of Hamilton. Hamilton is sort of when you look at Hamilton, Ontario, it's a wild, wild west among people in a city. Wild, wild west among businesses. Wild, wild business. Business, you know, are going to do a street and walk over you because they know BBB and Hamilton governing that. What the uh, wild, wild rest of business. How, and now we have wild, wild rest too among services. Because, you know, services have been like, you know, here in Town 11, the fake news. I get tired of hearing fake news as well sometimes out there. I don't believe half the stuff they didn't need anyway. They call it fake news. Donald Trump is ready for fake news. People do and believe it all. Uh, CNN, I believe fake news over real news. Now, what fake news is it? Is that they take a story like Donald Trump has a flat tire on a, on a car, and they turn around and they change the story up a little bit. They say Don, the uh, Air Force One has a flat tire on, on takeoff, low tire, and all found our damage, and it looks that look really good. They take a photograph. Of damage done on a, on a passenger jet, task that Air Force One, then they task to edit that, and then they say, well, go to that Air Force One. Well, and the reduced story up really good while well, Donald Trump had a flat tire on, on, on the pickup truck. <coughs> what do you think of that? Hmm. President Obama has a flat tire, basically. Now, see, that fake news right there. What do you think? What do I think? I know what I think. See what it is? That is too much fake news. Fake news is fake news. But anyway, today nice and sunny. I got no money. No money to, to do anything with. I need stuff. I was waiting on money. I hope you're back once you all should get it on Monday. Paperwork plan for it. Should be it Monday, Tuesday. Oh, Monday. Mm, yeah. And then I gotta get then the next Monday becomes a sex day. Then I have to get money like that. Then I gotta buy a brand new cell phone. The one I got here, it is done. I show you what I mean by being done here. Being done here. See right here? See at the top of the screen here on the phone? See at the top of the screen there on the phone there? The line lines up through the picture, you can get a little closer than that. The lines are running through the picture here. The cell phone is done. It needs a new I need a new phone. 
Will Sony get will Win Mobile give me an upgrade? No. They won't get an upgrade because you're transgender. See? Oh, but to get somebody else an upgrade because they on account will give me one? No. So I gotta go and I gotta buy one. See? Oh, you can't. Yeah, see what I mean by that? It's, it's that is where I see racism right there. And it's gonna stop. You gotta have enough. I mean, I'm gonna buy a new phone, and then I'm gonna, then I may just take the human rights complaint out again. This time against my cell phone provider. Or oh, I feel I'm being racially discriminated. Mm-hmm. That uh, I feel like taking another human rights complaint against city for not providing the services. Or trans people in a city. And I don't want to do it. But I'm going to say, I'm thinking about doing another human rights complaint. This time I get the lack of services in Hamilton available. Not a bathroom issue. And not that at all. But it's on something. We did not give me upgrade. And stuff like that. See? Thing like that. If I get to do that and start doing shit like that, maybe they'll listen. But I'm going to say, well, they won't give me an upgrade. Well, I don't really, and even a free phone, that I means look marvelous. A free phone looks great, but it ain't great. But well, you know what? I think like this rig. I like it. It's a rig. But after you now, nah, my own hair is seen in videos. But you know what I like? I like my hair like this. But I'm a lady. I'm not a man anymore. I always gonna be a lady the rest of my life. You know what? Because I don't have a male part anymore. I got a female part, you know. I have no honesty having vagina is one thing. It's being getting used to having it is another thing. And uh, caring for it is another thing. It takes a lot. I have to keep it clean all the time. That's a bit of maintenance. A little bit of high maintenance to do so. Now, we're getting close to my lunchtime. I'm going to heat up a real end meal I got here, meal from real meal. And then I'm going to sign off here for the day. Thank you. And thank you for watching. And have a wonderful and productive day. Vlog over the end.